Not too sure what I was thinking, booking my PT at this time <laughs> in the morning. Hey! Morning everyone! I just got back from a run and a gym session and you know what? I feel so, so, so good. When I woke up this morning and it was half past six, I thought, what the hell am I doing with my life? And honestly, I, if I could have cancelled my session, I would have, like no doubt about it. I genuinely just wanted to go back to bed, but I knew that I couldn't cancel my PT because I paid for it. And also that would be very, very, very selfish. Um, so I had my personal training session at 7.30 and you know what? I'm so glad that I went. So yeah i mean it's it means that i'm up at eight i'm back at eight no it's 8 47 um so i'm back at quarter to nine in the morning i wouldn't even normally be up at this time so i'm glad today's gonna be a productive day actually today is such an exciting day um i'm gonna go back and shower though and then i guess i will explain to you what is happening so everyone i've had a little bit of a glow up i've put on a full face of makeup i'm actually heading into london in a bit so you know that's why you know we got the full face on and i love it you know i feel so much better and i'm actually so glad that i got up early this morning because now i'm actually hopefully fingers crossed i don't want to jinx anything i'm gonna be on time for my train so um as a lot of you guys know if you followed me for a while you will know that i actually eat a lot of dairy and a lot of meat mainly because i'm just really 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 fussy so i only kind of like what i like um however for like such a long time i really wanted to see what it's like being vegan for like 24 hours for like a day um so i thought why not better than do it today i wanted to challenge myself and i think i'm actually going to find it a lot harder than um maybe a lot of you guys maybe would just because i eat a lot of dairy and i eat a lot of um, meat um so and actually the reason i decided to do it today was because basically um i saw i don't know if you guys follow the fizz family i'm sure a lot of you guys do on youtube and they're actually all vegan and last night they bought me these chocolate basically long story short done like a little favor for them and they bought me these chocolates and i knew they were vegan so i checked the back and it did say vegan on it and i was like okay actually since they bought me these chocolates they, i don't know they just reminded me i was like oh you know what actually i should do that video i should actually try and be vegan so i thought like i'm just gonna live a normal day in my life but try and be vegan today so i'm heading to london i'm actually going to see a west end so my friends like surprised me for my birthday present to go and see dream girls which i'm so excited for so um, it's gonna be weird like I don't know in London having to ask for like vegan places I think it's a lot easier. I mean, I'm not vegan So I don't really know but it's meant to be a lot easier now to find vegan places um, And to find like little vegan cafes and stuff like that So fingers 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 crossed I can take these chocolates as well for when we actually go and see the show because obviously you can't have dairy And this morning I googled it because I wasn't exactly sure what I could have a breakfast Now I want to try something like super vegan that I wouldn't normally have when we go out today But for now now, like for breakfast I have to just have something indoors so Weetabix are vegan and I'm pretty sure I don't know if this is thick I haven't actually googled this yet but I'm pretty sure you can have almond milk too so we do have do we have it yeah we have um, almond milk so I'm gonna have this with some Weetabix okay I actually love Weetabix so so much and I feel like I don't really have them enough often when I normally have Weetabix I don't well I mean sometimes I've had like almond milk but it's not like something I have every single day um but i know it is actually a lot 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 healthier for you and i would normally put like banana on it but we don't have any of that which kind of raised my heart a little bit but it's okay at the moment the challenge is easy but i think like as we go throughout the day it's going to get harder because i'm actually going to have to like ask and look for vegan food whereas i've got my weetabix right now and it's it's all great i'd eat this anyway so Right, so I made it to London on time, in fact, early for the show, and these girlies are here! Say hi, I've been hi. in the vlog in so long. Who's and in he? fact, huh? Who's he? <laughs> anyway, so we have made it, well, I have made it to, I got here on time. Actually, to be fair, the girls told me half an hour earlier than I was supposed to get here, and it's they half didn't. half twelve, I mean. Wait, hang on. You told me half twelve. I told you half twelve? Yeah. You told me you were here at half twelve. Yeah. <laughs> That didn't happen because I had so much work to go home, it's but it's fine. fine. <laughs> um, so basically, they told me the show was going to start. Did you deliberately do no, that? No, no, no. no you I, actually I, did I it. I got it wrong. Okay, well, I was actually here early for the time they told me anyways, because yes. you know me. <laughs> but um, my management and stuff, like, they always tell me so much later. No, so much earlier than my meters actually are because I'm well. just late for everything. But yes. <laughs> 
We made it here on time. We're gonna go and see Dream Girls and I can't bloody wait. It's gonna be so much fun. So thanks for my birthday present, girls. And it's so funny because it feels like it wasn't even that long ago that I saw you. Yeah. But because I was birthday. so busy at my birthday, yeah. we didn't even like see each other. I know, I was having a good time. I was having a great time. I was having the time of my life, Aww. so yeah. We have made it. Oh my god, I actually can't even contain my excitement. We were saying though, how like pressure on the Beyonce, yeah. well whoever's playing Beyonce. To sing listen. Yeah, to sing listen. You've got you've got to be good. So let's do it. I'm so excited. <laughs> we got our tickets. Let's do it. What way are we going? Left or right? Left. Well there you go. We are in the interval and oh my goodness, how amazing. Amazing. How amazing. Yeah. Over the whole time, because I haven't actually seen the whole movie the whole way through, right? So obviously I knew it was Beyonce, but we didn't know who our famous was in it, right? So <laughs> me and Celia was like, oh, so is the other one Whitney Houston? And I was like, I was thinking to myself, like, it can't be Whitney Houston because Whitney Houston would not be a backing for Beyonce. Yeah. Um, it turns out it's Jennifer Hudson when I'm telling you comes on, and I was like, what the hell? But it makes more sense. I mean, Jennifer Hudson is still so, it's like, why would she be behind Beyonce? But like, Whitney Houston, she sold more records than Beyonce, right? Yeah. I don't, yeah, exactly, probably. So, that, that's why I was so confused. Anyways, we got it wrong. We got it wrong. Jennifer Hudson. And uh, they are, it's just amazing. I'd actually say it's one of my favourite West Ends I've been to. Yeah, it's so good. I think it's because, like, not only do I know the songs, but, like, they're so talented and it's the music that I like to I love, like, soulful music. The harmonies are fab. You need to go see Dream Girls, basically. It's amazing. Also, <laughs> I'm deciding whether I should go and get a program. Is it 50? I think it's 15 pounds. I swear it says 15 pounds up there. We're just gonna have to see how much they are. I want to get off the memories, but I know I never open it again in my life. And it's blurry. <laughs> and our seats are so good. The girls done well. Look how close we are. I actually preferred this than being like right at the front. <laughs> Does anyone want to film anything because obviously it's like really disrespectful to film but we just got our dream girls it's amazing i also bought a program well i filmed the outro but i'm allowed to do that right yeah so i'm not allowed not to giving anything yeah it's not giving anything away so i also bought a program i'll show you guys that later but thank you so much girls all right, you're thank welcome. you oh you should be in this <laughs> thank oh, you yeah, <laughs> Anyways, we are now actually going to go for some food at Nando's. Um, I know it sounds crazy, but they do actually have vegan options, and I know they do because my friend Roxy, she's actually vegan, and she goes to Nando's, so they must do something. They must do something vegan, well, right? So yeah. normally I would just get like um, butter plate chicken with corn, but I feel like that's that's definitely not vegan. <laughs> so it's the complete opposite. So we're going to go to Nando's and see what's on the menu that I can oh, actually eat. Cherry apple. I'll get cherry apple. Oh, I've got cherry tomato. Cherry tomato. Wait, is that not vegan? I don't know. Is it? It probably isn't. Oh, you'll have to I ask. don't know. You'll it's only barbecue. Maybe. I don't know. I bet there's so much we can't eat. Right, we're in Nando's and I've just totally realised that my friend Roxy is a vegan, she's vegetarian. But it's okay because with some help I've managed to find something that's actually vegetarian but if I take out the cheese it'll be vegan so it's a wrap and it has it normally has <coughs> cheddar cheese chickpeas oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it normally has cheddar cheese chickpeas sweet corn what's this and lentils lentils lentils, lentils. 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 they're amazing I love them I love them I'm not gonna like it's it like, oh no is it I'm just so fussed that I don't even like chickpeas because this is why I couldn't be vegan even if I wanted to. Um, and then it comes with peas and pumpkin seeds. So I'm just going to remove the cheese and that's going to be my working meal. This 
this is not what I would normally go for because I really like me. Um, we've got the beanie wrap without the cheese. Um, so it's like chickpeas and whatever I explained earlier. So, I'm eating this. I'm not too sure how I feel about it. And honestly, I don't think I could finish it. So I think we're going hungry. But it's all right because basically, my mum told me that she bought me loads of vegan food when I get back. So, I'm going to try and finish this half. To be honest, I'm just, I should have got like, I think I'm going to get a portion of chips because I can have chips and I just, I don't, I'm gonna, I am gonna finish this. Because Elia was saying how she actually like, this is what she ordered. But you're not vegan, are you? No, I'm not vegan, I just like, it's called a beanie. It's really, really nice, so. Yeah. It's really nice, really. <laughs> we're, um, we're like, we're like, halfway through. What should I do? Saffron's new look, guys. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> I think I just do this for the camera, but I'm just like, nah, this is her new look. <laughs> yes, work it. Or. <laughs> it honestly, it does really suit you. you yeah. should... Oh, it looks really nice, doesn't it? It really suits you. You definitely need to get it. It's like, oh my god, it's so dark. Right, it's actually really late. So it's like half past nine. I've just got off the train. I've left the girls. I feel like I need to, like, Somehow put some sort of torch to me, but it doesn't really make it any better. I'm so hungry because, like, I feel like being vegan, it's like more difficult, like, to get food in the sense where, like, you've just got to think about it a little bit more. But I didn't really think about it, and I can't just go and just pick up a chocolate bar from the shop. So, um, at the train station, there was nothing really that I could actually find that was vegan, like, because I don't really know anything about it, and like. I didn't want to like get something that wasn't vegan, so at the moment I'm starving. I'm really hoping when I get home, because I asked my mom if she could grab me some like vegan snacks, but I don't know whether she would have. I'm just like super, super, super peckish. I've opened my fridge like three times. We haven't got much. All we pretty much got is Dairy and Dunkers, which is pretty much what I'd normally go home and snack on. And honestly, I want one of these so bad, because they're so good, but obviously I can't have this because it's cheese, and definitely can't have that if you're a vegan. So I don't really know, but eggs, I mean, other than that, I'm not exactly sure. Like, we have strawberries. Otherwise, we have oranges and apples. So the only pretty much thing I can have is some fruit, which I guess is better for me. But I really just want that Dairy Dunk, you know. So I guess I'm going to have to have... I'm going to have an apple. I'm going to... Cheers to us. This is what I'm going to eat now for my snack. Mmm. It's a good apple, actually. Since I've been back, I've been doing a lot of like sponsored kind of like worky stuff and it's super, super, super late. So it's like really like shadow dish because basically I've got like my studio light on me right now. So please excuse the lighting. But to sum up today, so personally being vegan, I feel like it's all about planning. I feel like if I was personally to be vegan, it would all kind of be around like planning for me because there isn't like, not everywhere actually has vegan options. Like Nando's, I thought actually had a vegan option, but it doesn't, it only has vegetarian options. However, it was very, very easy to make the vegan changes, but a lot of places don't have like just vegan like options and you can't just go and really, really quickly just go and grab a, I mean, you probably can, like you can grab like fruit and veg and stuff, but if you what like actual meals it's a little bit harder um which is kind of a shame because more and more people are becoming vegan nowadays and it's still actually quite hard to get vegan food so i feel like it's all around um you know like actually planning stuff and if it is anything because i feel like i want to do this like proper properly where in the sense where i actually i only eat like things that you only really eat if he's vegan so if you are vegan and there's like certain snacks and stuff that you snack on please let me know down in the comments because i'm actually really really intrigued to know um and hopefully next time i could actually do that and maybe i could try even just giving it a go for a week that would be hard um but let me know what you guys thought of this vlog Hi, I see my um my camera's flashing red and I'm super 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 tired. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.